Hey everybody, final thoughts, time for Santa Monica, and I gotta say folks, Jen and I like this one a lot. It is very fun, very compulsive, very fast playing, and this is definitely one of those kind of games where as soon as it's over, you're like, okay, let's set up, let's go again right now, because it just, again, I mean, like I said, it has this kind of compulsion, because, you know, everything is on the surface with this game. It's very straightforward. You can see what the cards are. Um, you don't have to think too terribly deep before you can start making really interesting decisions about, okay, none of those are good, but I really want that one, and if somebody takes that, that's going to fall into place, and if it happens on my turn, I can make sure I grab it. How do I ensure that's going to come to pass? How can I attract players towards it? Or do I burn my sand dollars to go on ahead and jump to the back? I might not want to because I might have a card that turns my sand dollars into points. But if they're not worth anything, I better use them. And, uh, you know, the fact that the food truck and the foodie are always on the move, creating, um, you know, constantly moving targets... Uh, everything about this game, uh, from the production, the little meeples that have the cool little sunglasses on them, or the little camera. I'm really surprised the uh, VIP doesn't have some kind of indication, like a, I'm not quite sure what, but, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, it looks great, it plays so fast and so fun. There's a fair bit of variety because there's eight different sand dollar um, options. You're only going to get two every time. There's a big old deck of cards. And I mean, some of these cards are just hilarious, uh, wonderfully thematic. Jen's favorite is the Oopsie Daisy. It's probably one of her favorite things she's ever seen in modern board games because, of course, we have a, a pooch named Daisy. So she loves the Oopsie Daisy and will make her whole strategy around that if she can. I mean, if I had any complaints, I'm really surprised there aren't more of these cards. Uh, and I guess for that, for that matter, there aren't more of these as well. Especially because, well, they put it into our heads. They make these two-sided. So you're like, oh, wow, you get twice the stuff. But they didn't make these or these two-sided. And that's a minor complaint. And honestly, I don't even think I necessarily would have made the complaint if they hadn't put in my head the idea that, oh, look, we can get two-sided stuff. Uh, there's only three scoring cards. So... I would love to see some more of these. There's only, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, five or six starting locations that give you different, um, you know, starting resources and objectives. I'd like to see a little bit more of that, but even if this never got an expansion, this would still totally be a keeper for me and Jen because it is just a joy. Um, but, you know, again, because it wears all its mechanisms on its sleeve, they're right there, they're right on the surface, and it just feels great to get that perfect card you've been waiting for the whole game and just slot it into position, and then, boom, the whole thing explodes in, or in, in terms of, you know, uh, points that you're getting for combinatorial stuff, and it's great. Uh, yeah, um, I, I do hope we get an expansion somewhere down the road, but... I, I don't feel we need it. Uh, you know, Publisher AEG, a couple of years ago, they made a big deal about how, hey, we're going to do fewer games and we're really going to focus more on quality of the fewer games that we put out. And I got to say, if they keep it up with Santa Monica, they are definitely delivering. Um, yeah, I, I play this as a two and a four player game. Everybody I played it with loves it as much as I do. And um, I actually, I guess since I rarely can talk about it, I would say this is a... Well, it's a more tactical game at higher player counts because, of course, if you're playing three players, th uh, three other cards are going to go before your turn comes around. Although, um, it does mean at a higher player count, using the sand dollar powers is much more worthwhile and attractive to be able to get the stuff that's coming in the future because there's much less of an opportunity for you to be able to get that perfect card you need. So there's more tension and the powers come into play. As a two-player game, it does get a bit thinky. Okay, well, okay, I know that's what she wants and I can guarantee she'll leave what I want alone or she'll t but I really want her to take this other thing so the thing I want will slide down. If I take this, the truck will move there. Chances are she's going to take that because I know she's out of sand dollars and she needs one and that one's okay for her. It becomes a bit more thinky a little bit more freewheeling and just fun uh, with you know more quick big move grabs with the sand dollars but either way as a two or four player game I loved it I've loved this uh, and again well I mean I can think of no higher praise than to say this is totally a keeper publisher AEG uh, designer Josh Wood keep it up this is great great fun stuff and uh, that's it folks those are my final thoughts for Santa Monica thanks so much for watching have a very nice day talk to you later so long uh, bye bye